In this video, I want to discuss the fundamental counting principle. The fundamental counting principle states that if one event has m possible outcomes and a second event has n possible outcomes, then there are m times n total possible outcomes. Let's start with an example. For dinner, I have three types of pasta. Angel hair, elbow macaroni, and spaghetti. I also have two different types of reds or types of sauce. Red sauce and white sauce. How many different possible ways can I make my dinner? A tree diagram might be helpful to illustrate all the different possibilities. Here, the first column refers to the type of pasta. The second column refers to the type of sauce. Therefore, you can read off the branches of this tree to find all the different dinners. Notice that there are 3 times 2 equals 6 possible different dinners. Here, M is 3 and N is 2, so M times N is 6 possible outcomes. Now, what if there are more than two events? Let's imagine a family that has three children. How many different families are possible with regards to the children's gender? All three children might be girls. The first child might be a girl and the next two boys. First child might be a girl and the last child a boy, etc. A tree, tree diagram might be helpful to illustrate all the different possibilities. Here, the first column refers to the first child, the second refers to the second child, and the third refers to the third child. Therefore, they, you can read off the branches of this tree to find all the different families. Boy, 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 girl. Notice there are 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 different possible outcomes. Here, n1 is 2, n2 two is 2, n3 is 2, and the fundamental counting theorem is generalized for more than two outcomes.